Shalom, Shalom, Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, in name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful licks scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to go into this video or, 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 or this story of what happened down here, um, not too far, or it was down here in uh, Tampa, but um, it's actually in Plant City, which I used to live out there. I actually moved about two or three weeks ago. I moved um, out of this area, but um, it says, um, this is news break. It says, a heartbreaking collision tragedy strikes Florida family en route to celebration. Okay, there's a family going to a celebration. And I believe six of them died, right? Six, six, six of them died, man. So damn near a whole family died on the way to a celebration. So let's read some more. It says, um, and out there in that area, it's a bunch of Ishakar. You know, it's a bunch of Ishakar out there. But it says, Florida is home to joyful festivities, warm sunsets, and memorable family gatherings. But in the unfortunate turn of events, the picture, uh, uh, the the picture K landscapes of Hillsborough County bore witness a devastating tragedy that left six dead and another battling for their life on that on on a day that was to be marked with celebration an suv carrying seven souls met devastation and at a train crossing the scene can only be described as nightmarish a family's joy turned to sorrow within seconds as the details emerged uh, emerge the weight of the events presses heavily on the hearts of not just the local community but the entire nation right so right now i knew it was, was going to be ishikar it says for reasons still unclear jose g hernandez 52 made the fateful decision to navigate his white cadillac escalade which has a nice truck across the tracks coming indirectly into the into the path of an oncoming freight train which in that area um you got train tracks right in people's backyards man like you know and there's not really much uh, uh guard line uh, gr uh you know guard lines or whatever so but those trains are constantly always coming through and they'll just fly through that through that area or whatever it says um the subsequent collision was so violent it sent the suv into a furious tumble throwing five of its occupants from the building almost like from the vehicle so wow so people, you know, flew out of that out of that vehicle, man. And 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 the last name is Hernandez, so it got to be on um, um, Northern Kingdom, more than likely Ishikar. It says Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Crossner's comparison of the SUV wreckage to a crushed can mm, is a haunting vis uh, visualization of the event's magnitude. As someone who has covered numerous events throughout the storied career, uh, its events like these that serve as a stark reminder of the fragile uh, uh, of the fragile the fragility of life right because you know we, these, these lives are fragile look at this it says it's reported that the that the hernandez family including driver's wife uh indelia hernandez and their three children uh, i'm not going to name the children's names it says we're on their on their way to a quinceanera right so quinceanera is like a, a, a birthday party all right. Um, I believe it's when 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 the, the girl is turning 12 or 16 or something like that, or oh, 15. Okay. This traditional celebration marks a girl's 15th birthday in her transition from childhood into womanhood. You see, showing you that when you you know get you get your cycle and you reach a certain age, you become a woman. So it says the transition from childhood to womanhood. What was a what was to be a day of joyful and festivities turned into a heart wrenching episode of loss. Wow. It says among the dead was also uh, uh, Jacob A. Lopez, 17, a friend of Hernandez of the Hernandez children. It's a so somber note that such lives, such young lives full of potential and promise met such a tragic end. Crash scenes like the one near the intersection of U.S. Route 92 and Jim Lefter Circle serve as haunting reminders to cherish every moment in a world where where the unpredictable is always lurking. It's essential to 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 our to hold our loved ones close 
and never take a single day for granted, right? Now, that's pretty much the point. I'll read a little more before I close out. It's, it's a little more left. It says, the heartache of uh, palpable, it is palpable, uh, pal, 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 whatever, and the ripples of grief will be felt for years to come. As the community rallies around the affected, one can only hope for healing and answers in the days ahead. Let us remember the Hernandez family not by the tragic event that befell them, but by the joyous moments and the love they shared. Their memories, like the golden Florida sunset, should uh, illuminate the path forward in these dark times. Right. So that's the point, man. You know, this family, Ishikarite family, was going on the way to a celebration, which we tell you all the times, man. You ain't supposed to be celebrating these birthdays, man. It is a, it is a, it is a sin. To celebrate a birthdays, okay, whether you realize it or not, okay, it's off. That 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 is a, those are traditions of men. That's not of our customs. All right, you're celebrating your birthday, okay. The scripture says greater. Let me grab that real quick, okay. Um, because, a hey, we really we in the land of our captivity, um, and this ain't the time to be trying to you know. Enjoy yourself in this captivity either man. You should be seeking your about Shemel Shai getting right because at any moment the Lord can send judgment upon you and That's what happened to this family. Unfortunately, they got put did you know that judgment came upon them It says Ecclesiastes chapter 1. I mean chapter 7 verse 1 a good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death Than the day of one's birth, right? So so we don't celebrate birthdays, man. That's not our custom. Okay, that's a tradition of men Let me grab that that's a tradition of men, okay? Which uh, aforetime we were those gifts that was given to, to, to the heathen on their birthdays, okay? It says, um, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, and this is a whole family. It says, Beware, lest any man spoil you. And that's what happened. They got spoiled, okay? They got, you know, destroyed. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men after the rudiments of the world and not after the lord okay so this is what happens when you follow in these traditions of men you know these people you know it, it, it's taking you to uh the traditions of men the philosophies and vain deceit okay after the rudiments of the world you see and if the lord was with that then that wouldn't happen you know but the lord brought judgment upon that family because you know and you know these ishkari families you know, they be having all kind of kids, so they be probably, you know, go to a damn uh, quinceanera, you know, every other week now, man. You know, so the Lord, the Lord got fed up. Okay. Let me grab this. And it's pretty much a big, you know, feast. It says, um, uh, Amos chapter five, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Tell what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him and went into the house and leaned on his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of Yahweh be darkness and not light, even very darkness and no brightness in it. That's coming. Great judgment is coming, man. All right. It says, I hate, I despise your feast, your feast days, and I will not smell your solemn assemblies. Uh, though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard your peace, the peace offering of your fat beast, right? And a lot of times at this Kinsey Yaddis, what they'll do is they'll have a big ass, fat, fat, huge pig roasting over a fire with an apple in his mouth, man. And they're eating a lot of pork there, you know, and they're celebrating uh, um, the, 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 the traditions of men. Okay, so the Lord warned us of this. He told us to, to, to beware of this, man. Okay. Let's grab that. Which I mean, I, this is what I immediately thought of whenever I, I had um, whenever I heard I heard about this story. It says um. Ecclesiastes chapter um. Chapter seven, verse two. It says it is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting. It's ain't the time to be trying to enjoy yourself and have a good time and go into the house of feasting, man. It's better to go into the house of mourning. Then to go into the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Right. So that's the end of all men. You know, a lot of people die going to these different festivals and 
you know, birthday parties and such, you know, these different events, going to the club, you know, being in the house of feasting, you know, instead of being in the house of mourning. It says, sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better, right? And we're not supposed to be celebrating no birthdays, you know, all in that giddy spirit, you know, thinking everything is a joke and, and, and having fun and all about enjoying yourselves, you know. And in Northern Kingdom, man, when they had these parties, they, they, they party all week, you know, drinking and having just having a good time all week, man. You know, food fe and festivities. It says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. And that's what happened to that family. Unfortunately, they was in the, their, their, their mind was in the um, was in the house of, uh, of, uh, of uh, mirth, you know, which made them fools. You know, and whatever reason they got stuck on them train tracks, that train came and delivered a fatal blow. OK, killed six people and almost seven, you know, which is completion. The seventh person is fighting for his life, which that individual may very well die, which is going to be completion, man. And this is judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. The Lord said, He killeth and He maketh alive. Okay, He wounds and He heals. So it was the Most High who did that. The issues of death belong to the Most High, right? It says, It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. And you go to these events and all you hear is a bunch of song and music, everybody jumping around and enjoying themselves. All right, rather than hearing. The, the rebuke of the wise, the prophets, man. You see? Verse 8 says, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of foot. That's, that, that, that's the point. You know, that's the point. But yeah, you, this was great judgment that came up, came upon that family. Why? Because they was not following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They were not uh, serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? In fact, they were serving themselves. This is another article that just came out. It says, families of Plant City train crash and victims express uh, safety concerns over crossings. Right. So it says the three families in Plant City are in pain, grieving. Not, so that ain't just one family. That's three families in pain. Sheesh. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is to be feared, man. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is to be feared. It says, three families in Plant City are in pain. Grieving for the loss of their loved ones after a deadly crash between an SUV and a train on Saturday, according to Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Uh, that, that, that's that's the story. Uh, Jose Hernan Hernandez, 52, was on his way to a birthday party with his family and two of their friends Saturday night. Right. So that was Saturday night, man. You know, we 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 we, we was at uh at uh camp when this happened. You know, they was on the way to a party. And, 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 and to the, going to the house of feasting, and we was in the house of mourning. Okay, and like I said, I had actually just moved from that area, man. I moved from, I just moved from that Plant City area. But um, a week, a couple months ago, it was a woman, a young woman, who got stuck on them train tracks, and she got hit by by a car. You know, she got hit. You know, and that individual that got hit, um, um, two jakes at my job. It, it was actually their cousin. All right, she was actually their cousin. So these judgments are getting closer and closer to home, man. These judgments are getting closer and closer to home. All right, this is why Yahweh Bashim Yahshua has to be feared. Seek Yahweh Bashim Yahshua while he may be found. So the time is coming where you're going to wish you had, man. But that's the point. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Karmashirullah, Ababa, Ababa.